This is Story Recapped. Today, I'm going to explain a drama, fantasy, and horror film called Dark Spell. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At a dress shop, Genia fixes a bridal gown for Sonia, who is excited about her wedding day. She asks Genia about her wedding, but she admits she hasn't had one. Sonia's fiancé, Victor, peers in, despite being warned that it's bad luck. Genia's daughter, Paulina, starts fussing in her stroller, but Victor offers to tend to her so Genia can continue working on the dress. Sonia thinks of it as Victor practicing to become a father. That evening, Genia takes care of Paulina while trying to contact her partner. When he doesn't answer her calls, Genia heads to his studio, only to catch him with another woman. Immediately, Genia walks out and her partner, Kier, yells at her for going there. The next day, Genia can't help but weep over what happened while at work. Her colleague, Kate, notices, so Genia shares what happened. Kate advises her to pretend like nothing happened, so Kier will love her more. At home, Genia finds Kier's sketches of his other woman, making her cry again. Her mother, who's watching the baby, tells her to stop tormenting herself since she can't force Kier to stay with her. Genia mourns over the idea of Paulina growing up without a father, but her mother insists that she can't force Kier to love her again unless she casts a spell on him. Soon, Genia goes to Kier's parents' house to drop off his belongings because he's been ignoring her calls. Kier's mother, Elena, smugly hints that Genia should always know where Kier is and who he's with. Later, Genia finally catches Kier as he's leaving his studio. Still hoping to save the relationship, Genia allows him to see other women, but Kier insists that he doesn't want to be with her anymore, adding that she doesn't own him just because he got her pregnant. Enraged, Genia hits Kier, but he pushes her off. After wiping his bloody nose with a handkerchief, he throws it at Genia and leaves. Genia then picks up the bloodied handkerchief, driven to take her last resort. That evening, Genia visits a gypsy named Aza. While carving meat, Aza asks Genia if she wants to be with Kier forever, to which Genia nods. Aza stresses that Genia needs to find someone who's about to get married and whose love is strong. As she arranges a few materials, she warns Genia not to trick the spirits. She gives her instructions to perform in a church during a wedding, but warns her that if her and Kier's love is fake, the spirits won't forgive her. Suddenly, Aza slices Genya's palm and shoves a piece of raw meat onto her hand. She tells her that her blood will strengthen the spell, but she must cast it until the meat spoils. Frightened, Genya grabs the other materials and rushes out. Days later, guests arrive at a church for Sonia's wedding. Among them is Oleg, whom Sonia isn't pleased to see. While the wedding begins, Genya sneaks into the church attic and starts the spell, joining two candles as she chants to bind herself and Kier forever. She then drops her blood into the handkerchief with Kier's blood, then burns it. To complete the spell, she eats a piece of the rotten raw meat, forcing herself not to spit it out. As the guests applaud the newly wedded couple, Genya races out of the church but collapses in front of the bride and groom. Later, Sonya waits at the hospital after rushing Genya there. Oleg joins her and she cries on his shoulders, thinking that the event was bad luck. Meanwhile, Genya wakes up on the hospital bed just as Victor, who's a doctor, checks on her. Genya insists on going home, but Victor declines since they need to observe her condition until tomorrow. Genya then apologizes for ruining their wedding, but Victor just tells her to rest. As he's leaving, Victor hears moaning from the supply closet and finds Sonia making out with Oleg. That evening, Genya wakes up to the window suddenly opening. She closes it but notices mud on the windowsill. When she turns, she finds Kier, who finally asks for her forgiveness. Realizing that the spell worked, Genia accepts him, and the two sneak out of the hospital to make love in his studio. The next morning, Kier gets inspired by her beauty, so he has Genia stand by the light as he draws her. Flattered with the attention he's giving her, Genia smiles. Later, Kier and Genia head to her mother's house, where a window was broken during the storm last night. Kier quietly boards up the window while Genya invites her mother to stay with them until it's repaired. When Genya leaves to get Polina, Kier tells her mother that she'd bother them if she moved in, so she declines Genya's offer. One day, Kier sculpts Genya, but he struggles to get her features right since she's perfect in real life. Genya insists that she must go to work, but Kier argues that work distracts her. He lathers plaster on her face to create a mold, but Polina starts crying. Since Genya can't see and move, Kier puts Polina's stroller away, and soon, the crying stops. He then puts away the sheet over Genya's body and gets on top of her. Though Genya can't see or speak, Kier gets intimate with her again. When Genya returns to work, she finds Sonia trying to return her wedding dress. Seeing her, Sonia gets pissed, blaming her for Victor dumping her before walking out. 
Confused, Xenia tries to call Aza, but when she leaves a voicemail, a distorted voice reminds her that Kier is hers now. Suddenly, her stomach starts to hurt, only stopping when she hears someone crying behind the clothes rack. She searches the racks and finds a bride between some clothes. She turns to the bride, finding that she's hanged by her neck. Suddenly, the bride tries to grab Xenia, so she backs away with a gasp, only to find that the bride has disappeared. Xenia returns home that night, but finds no one there. So, she heads to Kier's studio, where she sees multiple sculptures of her face. Finally, she finds Polina abandoned on a pile of bags. Kier arrives, and Xenia scolds him for leaving the baby. He excuses that he was busy, but Xenia berates him, questioning if he actually loves them. Kier assures her that he loves her, but she's always busy, so he urges her to eliminate everything unnecessary. He tells her that he doesn't want to share her with anyone, but Xenia argues that she's not his property. He insists that she's his wife, but she reminds him that she's not. Angry, Kier stabs one of the sculpted faces, making Xenia back away. Seeing her scared, he apologizes and hugs her. One day, Victor arrives at the shop to return the refund for the wedding dress despite Sonia returning it. Xenia asks what happened, feeling guilty for ruining the wedding, but Victor tells her it doesn't matter. Admiring a dress she made, Victor holds Xenia's hand, complimenting how he loves what she does. Realizing what he's doing, Victor pulls away awkwardly. When he leaves, another set of hands suddenly grabs Xenia, so she pulls away. An immense pain makes her double over, so Victor takes her to his car to get her home. However, Kier suddenly appears and kicks Victor down. Xenia tries to stop him, but he pushes her off. Victor then pins him against the car, allowing Xenia to explain the situation. Defeated, Kier surrenders, so Victor releases him and gives him some gauze before driving off. Wrapping his knuckles with the gauze, Kier apologizes, but Xenia tells him to take her to her mother's house to pick up Polina. Instead of her mother's house, however, Kier takes her to his parents. They join Kier's parents over dinner, where Kier takes the blaming for ruining his and Xenia's relationship. However, he assures his parents that they're working on it, so he proposes to Xenia. Stunned, Xenia wants time to think, which makes Elena laugh. Kier slams the table to stop his mother, insisting that Xenia can do what she wants. He then asks for his mother's ring, but Elena refuses since it's a family heirloom that should be given to someone she thinks is worthy. Quietly, Kier gets up, grabs the dining scissors, and cuts off her finger to get the ring. His father tries to stop him, but he beats him up. In shock, Xenia backs away, but Kier kneels before her and places the ring on her finger. Taking this opportunity, Kier's father knocks him down, telling Xenia to escape. Xenia rushes to the gate, but it closes on her. Kier corners her, asking if she's heading to Paulina. When she asks if Polina is with her mother, Kier pauses. He then takes her back to his studio where Polina is left in a tub. While she holds their daughter, Kier insists that they belong only to each other. But Xenia clarifies that she doesn't want it like this. Out of options, Xenia confesses to casting a spell on Kier to make him love her. But he doesn't believe her and knocks her out instead. Soon, Xenia wakes up in the tub with her body covered in plaster, while Kier also pours plaster over Polina in a basin. Determined to save her daughter, Xenia struggles free and when Kier looks back, she's gone. Kier searches for her, but Xenia knocks him out and escapes with Polina. She runs into a busy street where a woman nearly runs her over. Seeing her condition, the woman gives her a ride, but Kier speeds through the highway to catch up to them. Finding Xenia, he knocks out the driver's window, but she speeds up instead. Still, Kier continues his pursuit, so the driver heads towards a fork in the highway and makes a sharp turn to lose him. With no one else to turn to, Xenia ends up at Victor's house. After washing the plaster off herself, she finds Victor asleep with Polina in his arms. The next day, Xenia wakes up with Polina at her side and finds Victor getting ready for work. Xenia feels guilty about involving him, but Victor waves off her concerns and advises her to rest. At the hospital, Sonia approaches Victor, begging for a chance to explain. However, he ignores her and even his colleague, Call, helps him avoid her. While on the elevator, Victor notices a covered body they're transporting. Call tells him that it's a motorcyclist who suffered a nasty head injury. When the elevator shakes, a hand slips out of the cover and Victor recognizes the leather jacket and bandaged knuckle. He lifts the cover and recognizes Kier under it. In his apartment, Xenia wakes up to something falling. She picks up an apple that fell from the fruit bowl but notices the stain on the windowsill. Hearing something from the bathroom, she cautiously opens the shower curtain but finds it empty. When she turns, Kier is at the door, holding Polina. The door slams shut, and when Xenia opens it, she finds Polina still on the couch where she left her. Victor arrives, and Xenia tearfully tells him that Kier was there. However, Victor reveals that Kier is dead. 
Once she sees Kier's body in the morgue, Zhenya turns away in tears and asks for some privacy. While alone, Zhenya recalls dodging him on the highway where he likely crashed. Guilty over what the spell did, she apologizes when he suddenly grabs her and opens his eyes. Kier then pulls her into the drawer and shuts it close. Inside, Zhenya bangs on the door while Kier gets up. His stiff, broken body slowly approaches Zhenya, but she forces the door open and escapes. Later, Victor assures her that what she saw was just her mind playing tricks due to the stress and emotion. She moves to leave but suddenly feels pain in her stomach. Sonia finds them, accusing Zhenya of visiting Victor too often. Despite this, Zhenya walks away and apologizes to Sonia. Still pissed, Sonia yells at her, but Victor quietly tells her that Zhenya's partner just died. On the way to Aza's place, Zhenya confesses to Victor about casting the love spell during their wedding. She now understands that her and Kier's love wasn't true, so the spell turned into a nightmare. They confront Aza to ask how to fix things, but Aza doesn't know how. Instead, she advises Zhenya to ask the demon that created the spell by using Victor. Despite being skeptical, Victor helps Aza prepare a ritual while Zhenya waits in another room. Suddenly, Victor finds himself alone in the room. Behind him, a cloth rises then covers his face, choking him. Meanwhile, Zhenya hears Aza calling someone master, and another voice invites her inside. As Zhenya approaches, the voice comes from Victor's body. Aza asks what he needs from Zhenya, and he answers that he needs her soul because she promised it to him. The demon then approaches a mirror quietly and shatters it. He takes a shard to Victor's throat, so Zhenya jumps in to save Victor. However, the demon pins her to the floor, and Zhenya struggles to hold his arms to keep him from stabbing her. Suddenly, Aza's mother arrives and casts away the demon using a staff. When Victor recovers later, he decided not to get involved any further despite Zhenya's pleas for his help. Later that evening, Sonia has fallen asleep on a hospital bench, waiting for Victor, when someone puts a jacket over her. When she wakes up, she finds that it's Oleg and tells him to leave. Victor catches them together but only asks Sonia to talk privately. At the same time, Zhenya goes to the church, still determined to fix things. Earlier, Aza's mother told her that her marriage was blessed by the devil, but he could still be tricked. She instructed Zhenya to reenact the wedding, but in reverse. However, she needs to bring all who were involved, and they must be there of their free will. Meanwhile, Victor shares that he thought getting married and having a family was the right thing to do. However, he didn't really love Sonia and knows that Sonia didn't love him either. Since their love wasn't true, he believes that their marriage was hopeless. Victor considers helping Zhenya and shares her story with Sonia, but she refuses, still blaming Zhenya for ruining her wedding. She storms off and finds Oleg waiting for her, only to discover that it's Kier who attacks her. When Victor and Oleg find her, Kier has disappeared. At the church, Zhenya prepares to reverse the spell but notices someone watching her. She approaches the figure and finds that it's just a rack for the priest's cassock. To ease her fears, Zhenya throws the cassock over the rack to make it less human-looking. However, when she turns back, it's back to its position. She approaches it and a hand grabs her. A black fabric then covers her face, making her collapse and choke. Fortunately, Aza's mother arrives and casts the demon away just as Victor, Sonia, and Oleg arrive. Meanwhile, at Zhenya's mother's house, the nails on the boarded window start coming apart. At the church, they begin reenacting both the wedding and the spell in reverse. As she separates the joined candles, pain suddenly fills Zhenya, and an invisible force throws her back. The others watch as Zhenya's body is lifted in the air, then dropped. At the same time, her mother wakes up and checks on Paulina but finds the crib empty. Hearing her cries, she checks under the crib but spots Kier landing from the window. Back at the church, Victor checks on Zhenya but Sonia suddenly appears at the other end of the aisle, laughing while holding the joined candles. She snuffs out their flames, then jumps over and chokes Victor, so the old gypsy tries to cast out the demon again. This time, the demon uses magic to break her staff and stab her with it. Oleg pulls Sonia off to Victor, then restrains her. The gypsy then pulls herself back up and casts out the demon, which finally works. However, when Sonia speaks, her voice is like Zhenya's mother's. She announces that Paulina is missing before collapsing. Hearing this, Zhenya hurries to her mother's house with Victor but finds it empty, except for a plaster mask. Figuring out the clue, the two head to Kier's studio where they find Zhenya's mother, whose feet are nailed to the floor. Paulina cries from somewhere, so Zhenya searches for her while Victor frees her mother. As Zhenya searches, the statues begin moving. Still, she fights her way until she finds Paulina with her mother under a table. Finally, the illusion breaks, and Victor finds himself face to face with Kier, who throws him back. Victor stabs him with a chisel, but it doesn't even make Kier flinch. 
He then slams a rock repeatedly against Kier's head until his skull breaks, revealing an empty shell inside. Kier chokes Victor, so Zhenya finally surrenders her soul to save him. Kier disappears and Zhenya finds a tub filled with plasters beside her. Knowing what to do, Zhenya assures Victor that everything will be okay before submerging herself into the tub. As she drowns, she pictures a different reality where she raises Polina happily with Victor. On the other hand, Zhenya finally walks down the aisle in a black wedding dress. With the sculptures as their guests, she meets Kier at the altar. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.